A U.S.-led coalition of navies and air units is conducting a huge exercise in the Pacific. Here's what you need to know. The U.S. is conducting a large-scale exercise in the Indo-Pacific region that involves a U.S. carrier strike group, a joint air-sea task group from Australia, and a warship from Japan. The joint drills began on July 19th and are centered on Guam Island. Commander of the Australian Joint Task Group Commodore Michael Harris says, The combined tasking between our navies demonstrates a high degree of interoperability and capability between Australia, the US, and Japan. Australia's Air Task Group includes FA-18 fighter jets, EA-18G electronic warfare jets, and an E-7A early warning aircraft from the Royal Canadian Air Force No. 77 Squadron. The task force operates from Guam's Anderson Air Force Base. The carrier strike group includes a Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier Reagan and its air wing, the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser Antietam, and the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer Mustin. Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force said the Akizuki-class destroyer JS Teruzuki. Australia's naval task group consists of the amphibious assault ship Canberra, which is a helicopter carrier in addition to a frigate and a replenishment ship. The exercise will test the forward deployment of rotary wing aircraft. This means Australia's Tiger attack helicopters from Canberra could operate from the Reagan for offensive missions. The Pacific has been teeming with warships in the past months, what with the US-China rivalry and all that. Here's a quick rundown for what could be the prelude to World War III. Two U.S. aircraft carriers conducted drills at the South China Sea in a significant show of force, according to the Navy. CNN reports that the exercise on July 4th was the first in six years to involve dual U.S. carrier strike groups in the maritime region. The carriers transited from the Philippine Sea for drills that were seen as a challenge to China's own drills at the Parasol Islands, which saw the firing of an anti-ship missile the previous day. U.S. Navy Institute News reports that Chinese warships observed the carriers. The U.S. Carrier Strike Force consisted of the nuclear-powered warriors Nimitz and Reagan, with more than 60 aircraft each, supported by Arleigh Burke-class guided missiles destroyers and Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers. The Parasol Islands are an archipelago in the disputed South China Sea. China has laid claims to the region. Areas of the South China Sea are also claimed by Taiwan, the Philippines, and Vietnam. The South China Sea is strategically important because it is one of the world's busiest maritime regions. The dueling exercises were followed by a war of words. China's state-run Global Times tweeted, the U.S. carriers are at the pleasure of the PLA. The U.S. Navy responded by saying, and yet, there they are. A retired Taiwanese general warns that China may invade Taiwan's outlying atolls as a form of limited warfare. Here is what you need to know. Taiwan's outlying atolls of Wuchou, Dongsha, and Taiping could be vulnerable to surprise attacks by China, according to former deputy commander of the Taiwanese Air Force, Zhang Yanting. Speaking at a conference Tuesday, Zhang says these positions are hard to defend. According to official sources, the Wuchou Islands are not self-sufficient in basic supplies, including water. This means the island's marine garrison and the small civilian population are dependent on supply ships from the main island of Taiwan. The Taipei Times reports Taiping Island, also known as Ituaba, is allocated six 155mm howitzers in the event that the Coast Guard garrison is threatened by hostile action. However, these weapons are held in reserve off the island and would not be available if the base was subjected to a surprise attack. At the event, Zhang pointed out that China has increased the frequency of air and naval patrols near Taiwan's air defense identification zone and sovereign waters. He was cited by Taiwan's central news agency as saying, Taiwan should monitor these movements in case quantitative changes become qualitative. Amidst a deadly global pandemic, China is planning to rattle sabers against Taiwan with major military exercise, according to the Japanese press. China's People Liberation Army Navy plans to conduct a large-scale amphibious assault drill off Hainan Island in August. Citing unnamed Chinese sources, the Japan Times reports the drill will involve landing ships, hovercraft and helicopters, while the carrier Shandong has been deployed in Hainan since December last year. According to the Japan Times, the exercise is designed to simulate a navy and marines attack on the Taiwan-held Pratas, a strategically important islet that sits astride China's military egress from Hainan to the Pacific Ocean. Tensions between Beijing and Taipei rose after Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen was elected into office in 2016, 
on a wave of popular anger against the pro-Beijing policies of her predecessor Ma Ying-jeou. According to Reuters, Taiwan in April announced plans to buy arms from France to upgrade its fleet of six French-made Lafayette-class frigates. Responding to protests from Beijing, France's foreign ministry suggests China should focus on battling COVID-19 instead. En anglais, it means go pound the sand. The U.S. Naval Institute reports a U.S. Navy Arleigh Burke-class destroyer made a transit through the Taiwan Strait to warn Beijing's leadership against taking aggressive action in the region. The Japan Times reports U.S. electronic warfare aircraft may have passed the strait 14 times in April alone. According to Taiwan's state-run Central News Agency, a Chinese Y-8 aircraft flew into Taiwan's air defense identification zone before being headed off by fighter jets on April 8. This is the seventh time Chinese military planes flew near Taiwan's airspace this year. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.